My last video on the iPhone 16 Pro Max did very well. Thank you so much for that. So I'm gonna make another one. I've been using the iPhone 16 Pro Max for about two weeks. And for some context, I came from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The iPhone 15 Pro Max was a fine phone. It got hot a lot and the battery was not great. The battery was better than the last year, the 14s, but the battery percentage, the health, went down really quick. The cycles went up really fast and a lot of people were saying that too. And that was one of my biggest issues with the 15 Pro Max phone. Now, the 16 Pro Max, immediately upon unboxing it, I noticed the screen size. A lot of people say they don't really notice the screen size, it's not really that big of a difference. To me, it's all of the difference. I noticed it immediately. I love how much bigger it is. I love the way it feels in the hand. I love the way the bezels look. I've never had any accidental touches with the bezels. A lot of people say they do. I have never had any of those issues. I think the bezels are great. I want them to be gone completely, but I don't know if they ever will. But after seeing these bezels, after using a phone this big, I can't go back to a regular size 15 Pro Max or even a, like a 15 Pro type phone and the, even the 13s with those bigger bezels. The battery on the 16 Pro Max has been also decent. It's been fine. It's not as good as Apple made it sound. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. My 15 Pro Max, like I said, the battery health percentage died really quickly. And so by the time I traded it in, it was only 89%. But I have a charger in my car, I have a charger at my desk. And so it's not like I was ever needing for a charge. I've been trying my best not to charge the 16 Pro Max as often just because I'm worried about the percentage going up and I'm or going down and I'm also wanting to put it through its paces. And I've really noticed that the battery doesn't die as fast as I thought it would. You know, I start my day around 6.30 a.m. By, by 4 p.m. it's maybe at 40%. That's pretty good. And that's after me, you know, playing Pokemon Go at my desk throughout the day. And so again, that's pretty good. It's about eight hours screen on time, six hours screen idle time, and the day at 20%. If you want a full video on it, link somewhere in this video. Uh, that was my last video on the 16 Pro Max. Really good video. Thank you so much for everybody watching it. And the thermals on the phone. The 15 Pro Max got hot whenever you looked at it. it I don't know what was wrong with it, but it just did. And a lot of people, a lot of tech reviewers said that same, same thing. And now the 16 Pro Max, it was kind of having some issues in the beginning. After the last 14 days, the last four or five days have been the best days with this phone. I think it's finally gotten acclimated to being alive. And this phone has been able to not get hot. I Part of it is, you know, whenever I'm outside playing Pokemon Go, I'm out in the sun playing Pokemon Go, you know, a game that's fairly intensive on the phone. It would kill my 15 Pro battery. It hasn't done anything on the 16s. Now, I think that's also because of the new game mode on iOS 18 that recently came out. That's been really helping as well. It just kind of puts some features to the background so that you can focus all your battery on the game. And that's really cool. The iPhone 16 Pro Max really feels like it's a more refined version of the 14s and 15s. And I mean, obviously year over year, they are refinements. People are saying this is a very bad upgrade. And I felt that with the 16 Pro when I used that for about a week. But now the 16 Pro Max, it just kind of opened my eyes. I don't know why. The screen size is so much better than the 6.7 inch, again, in my opinion. The shiny -er bezels on the side are much better than the 15s, but it's not as good as the 14s and the 13s. And then the thermal, the battery on these phones, so much better. The battery on the 14 Pros, the one I had at least, was abysmal. The 15 Pro was better, even towards the end of the 15's life, it was better but the 14 was so bad. And so the 16 just feels like a massive, massive refinement. My big worry with the 16s is Apple intelligence is coming out soon. Part of it's coming out this month, part of it's coming out in the next, whoever knows how many years. And once that happens, is the battery of the 16 Pro and Pro Max just gonna get shot? Is that going to really limit the battery life? because now I'm debating, I'm really excited for Apple Intelligence, but is it, is it worth my battery life? Is it mean I can't play Pokemon Go outside as much? I don't know. So if you are really excited for Apple Intelligence and you have a 14 Pro, obviously you're gonna need at least a 15 Pro or newer. If you have a 15 Pro and you're really excited about Apple Intelligence, but you're worried that Apple Intelligence is going to destroy the battery on your 15 Pro, 
then maybe upgrade if you can. If you really care about that screen size, maybe upgrade if you can. If you're like me and you go play Pokemon Go outside and your 15 Pro gets hot and dark, maybe upgrade if you can. And that's really the gist of this phone. It's a refinement of the last few years. It is a culmination of everything from the 12 up till the 15s. It's a culmination of all the best things into a package with a 16. Okay, yeah, the camera control button is there. It exists. I use it to turn on the camera. Whenever I'm in somewhere on the phone, I can just press it and I'm in the camera immediately. From the lock screen, I'll sometimes use it or I'll just kind of swipe to the side. You know, instead of going to the control center, you know, clicking the camera icon, I can just press the control button and that works, but that's really all I use it for because other than that, it's not great. Once the camera control button has been refined over the next few years, I really think Apple should just put it on one phone and that's their like Ultra Pro Max Ultra phone, you know, the best one they have, like a fifth iPhone. I think that'd be really good. That'd be where that button belongs. On these phones now, not enough people are gonna use it. I, you, I shoot YouTube videos and I shoot photos for YouTube stuff and I never use it. I like the on-screen controls. I don't like pressing the shutter button and it you know jiggles the screen and I lose the shot. So it's irritating. So what do you think of the iPhone 16 Pro, Pro Max series phones? Do you have one? Do you wanna get one? Am I wrong? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Jake, this shot on my phone.